Hi friends, in today's class we will learn and understand how an induction cooktop works and also some of the applications of electromagnetic induction in day to day life. In this lecture we will learn about what is electromagnetic induction, what is eddy currents, the construction and working principle of induction stove and applications of induction in different fields. Let us start with electromagnetic induction. Before going to this topic, let us recall our basic concepts of magnetostatics. In that, we will discuss Ampere's law. The Ampere's law says that whenever there is a flow of current in a current carrying wire, it produces magnetic field in a circular path. The direction of the magnetic field is given by the thumb rule. The thumb shows the direction of current. This curved finger shows the direction of the magnetic field. Let us observe this animation. When there is a current is flowing in one direction, this is the direction of the magnetic field. If you reverse the direction of the current, the magnetic field direction is also changes. Now, when a magnetic field cuts the current carrying wire, it produces the flow of electrons in a conductor, means there is a production of current in a current carrying wire. Michael Faraday had invented the electricity by converting magnetism and formulated the basic law of electromagnetic induction. So what do you mean by electromagnetic induction? The production of electromotive force or voltage across an electrical conductor by changing the magnetic field. Otherwise, whenever there is a change of magnetic flux through the coil, it produces an induced EMF and produces the current. Let's see some of the applications of electromagnetic induction. The first one is the transformer. The transformer consists of primary coil and secondary coil. The number of turns in a primary coil is N1 and number of turns in a primary coil is N2. Whenever there is a current passing through a primary coil, it produces the magnetic field. This magnetic field cuts the area of the current carrying wire in the secondary coil, produces induced EMF. This induced EMF produces an induced current. The number of turns in a primary coil and number of turns in a secondary coil decide the step up voltage or step down voltage. The next one is motors. The motors which converts the electromagnetic energy to the mechanical energy. The working of motor can be explained by Fleming's left hand rule. This Fleming's left hand rule, the thumb shows the force direction. The middle finger shows the magnetic field, the current show, the central finger shows the current direction. The other one, generators, the generator which converts the mechanical energy to the electrical energy. This animation shows the working of generator. Whenever the magnetic flux get disturbed by the this particular plate, there is an induced EMF in the circular, this circular plate produces an induced current. The eddy currents are created through a process called electromagnetic induction. Let us consider a current carrying wire. It produces a magnetic field. If you bring another current carrying wire towards to the this particular field, it produces an induced current. The eddy currents are a form of induced currents. So here I am considering a conducting plate. This is the primary coil. When a current passing through the primary coil, it produces magnetic field. This magnetic field produces the circular currents in a conducting plate. This circular currents are called eddy currents. Let us understand the physics involved in developing eddy currents by watching this video. Let me demonstrate with respect to this experiment, lens law, I am demonstrating lens law. It is based on conservation of energy. This is the copper tube, 
this is a copper tube nothing is there inside if i take the chalk paste it hangs on weight so it takes lesser time period it comes so fast now i am taking the magnet now i am taking the magnet i am just inserting into this it takes more time period it takes more time period so what is the reason that whereas this chalk paste takes lesser time period whereas this magnet is taking more time to come down something is happening we have to discuss what is the physics involved in this again we see the magnet dropping through the tube the red lines are added to represent the magnetic field produced by the magnet as the magnet falls the magnetic field in the copper tube changes this variation in the magnetic field induces an electric current as predicted by faraday's law faraday's law states that any change in the magnetic environment of the copper tube will cause a voltage to be induced in the tubing this induced voltage creates electric currents in the copper called eddy currents. They're called eddy currents due to the circular motion they undergo. All electrical currents produce their own magnetic fields, which are illustrated in this diagram by green lines. Another law predicts the direction these induced electric currents and their magnetic fields will flow. This is called Lenz's law. Lenz's law states that when an electric magnetic field is generated by a change in magnetic flux, according to Faraday's law, the polarity of the induced electromagnetic field is such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change which produces it. Dear students, there is a possibility of confusion. Look at this device. It is an electrical heater. This also can be used for cooking purpose. The working of electrical heater is completely different from the induction stove heating. This electrical heater works on the principle of Joule's heating effect. In a Joule's heating effect, the heat is equal to I square RT, where I is the current, R is the resistance of the coil, T is the time taken. In the electrical heater, the nichrome wire is used because of highly resistive in nature. The major disadvantage of this electrical heater is it consumes lot of power and also there is a possibility of electrical shock. Let us understand the working principle of induction stove. This figure represents the block diagram of induction stove. The induction stove covered with the glass ceramic plate which is a bad conductor of heat. On the top we are placing the pan this pan made with the cast iron or stainless steel material if we observe carefully the cross section view it consists of a primary coil when an alternating current passing through the primary coil it produces magnetic field this magnetic field percolates through the material and produces eddy currents in the metallic pan. This eddy current produces the energy in the form of heat. This heat raises the temperature of the pan which is placed on the cooktop and food inside the pan get heated through conduction or convection process. Let us watch the video for clear understanding of the concept. Induction cooking is faster and more energy efficient than traditional cooking and allows instant control of cooking energy similar to gas burners. The heat is generated directly in the pan, keeping the cooking surface cooler than a traditional element. The element of an induction cooktop is a powerful high-frequency electromagnet. When a sizable piece of magnetic material is placed in the magnetic field that the element is generating, the field transfers or induces energy into that metal. That transferred energy causes the metal to become hot, which then heats its contents. The surface of the cooktop is heated only by contact with the pan. Nothing outside the pan is affected by the field. And as soon as the pot or pan is removed from the element or the element turned off, heat generation stops. 
Food spilled on the cooktop surface will not burn because the glass is not heated, allowing for immediate cleaning after use. Regular cleaning before and after each use will help keep it free from stains and provide the most even heating. Induction cooktops have sensors that detect how much ferrous metal is in the area that the magnetic field would occupy. And if it isn't at least as much as would be in a small pot, then they don't turn on. Metal cooking utensils or metal jewelry that may be magnetic aren't significant enough to transfer energy. So there will be no consequences as a result of the induction cooktop. Some of the important points related to the induction stove. In an induction cookware, the pan must be a magnetic based material. It is made with the cast iron or magnetic stainless steel. The glass and wooden materials cannot be used in an induction stove. In an induction stove, there is no emission of harmful gases and it is free from the fire. And no fear of gas leaks. And it's energy efficient. It saves the time compared to the pressure cooking. One of the important points here it is the induction cooking may not be safe for the patients on pacemakers or similar medical devices which is sensitive to the electromagnetic induction process. Let's see some of the applications of electromagnetic induction. The first one is the metal detector. Just watch this video. This is a metal detector which senses any metal objects are there. It gives a beep sound. Watch once again. It's not a metallic. When a magnetic field produces eddy currents in a metal object, it senses. The next one, the crank identification. So this is the metallic object, metallic plate. There is a crack in the material. When a magnetic field passing through the metallic plate, it produces eddy currents. This eddy current sensed by this meter. So here, there is no crack here, so that it not shows any deflection. When it is passing through the crack, there is a deflection in the meter. So by this way, uh, the crack identification, the flaws in the material can be detected. This method is said to be the non-destructive technique. The thickness measurements, especially the non-conductive coatings, the thickness of the materials can also be identified by this eddy current method. There is a question for you now. When we touch an induction stove, will it give a shock? When we touch an induction stove, when it is on, will it give a shock? Think this. The answer is no. Why? Because the electrical resistance of a human body is greater than the resistance of the steel pot. And also, when the magnetic field is linked with the pan, which is a metallic, whereas our hand is not a conductor, so that it not produces the eddy currents in a hand. The reference for this particular topic, these are the books, University of Physics by C.S. and Szymanski, some of the web references. There is a question for you. How do birds navigate from one place to another place? Once again, how do birds navigate from one place to another place? Think of this question. If you want the answer, please refer this particular web link. Let us have physics fun now. It is in a mirror. A set of plastic squares appear to be circular when placed in front of a mirror. A set of plastic squares appear to be circular when placed in front of a mirror. See how the beauty of physics. So enjoy the physics. <laughs>